Following some breaking news, several people stabbed near Hialeah. Local 10's Laren Livingston joins us live from the scene with new information just in from police. Laren. We just learned that it was three people who were stabbed here outside this home. We're in the intersection of Northwest 62nd Avenue and 113th Terrace, and their investigation has been focused on that home. They're just beyond that white Dodge Ram pickup truck. In fact, we saw a couple of family members out front, and we also saw a young man look to be a juvenile come through underneath the police tape not too long ago. We're told that one of the victims in the stabbing was his father. We do know this involved a woman and her ex were told that X pulled a knife after some sort of argument that got very physical and very violent, stabbed that woman, that's what police say, stabbed her brother as well as another male relative at this home. And then that suspect took off. And at last check, that person was still at large, was not in custody yet. But we do know that woman had to be taken to Jackson Memorial Hospital. In fact, we got video from a neighbor, a witness who saw a medical helicopter landing and taking off from nearby Palm Springs Middle School here in Northwest Dade with one of those victims. We're told another person was taken via ambulance, a man to Hialeah Hospital, and we're told another person, another man, the other person who was injured in this was treated and released here on scene. And we also want to show you some video that we got because it was an, another situation that unfolded and developed while we were standing out here. A man in a black sedan drove through the police tape into the scene. Police had to yell him down, flag him down, got him out of the car. We weren't sure if he was related to this or related to any of the uh, individuals involved in this, but we just found out within the last few minutes that that man is not connected to this scene at all. In fact, he was an intoxicated driver, according to police here on scene, and they actually took him in to custody just the same. So a lot of things that police were having to deal with. But again, the person who is suspected of being responsible for this stabbing is still on the loose. Hopefully police will be able to provide an update soon or at least tomorrow as to whether or not that person is in custody. But we do again know that three people were injured, a woman, two men stabbed here. But the good news here we're hearing is that those injuries are not critical and are not considered life threatening. That's the latest here from Northwest Dade. For now, we're live. Larry Livingston, Local 10 News.